Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy! Ahoy there! Captain Goujon here, and welcome to Outlast. Mount Massive Asylum. I hope it's a massive asylum. It's sweet. Oh, would it? Because it's a horror game. Anyway, I don't usually play horror games, and there's a good reason for that. It's because I'm a fucking big scaredy cat. But, it's been requested, so who am I to say no? Apart from the person who's going to have the nightmares, weird boners, and, yeah, the wet dreams. The all reasons why I shouldn't play these games, because this doesn't look even remotely creepy. Ooh, confidential. So, terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctor's talking about dream therapy going too deep. Ah, oh, Inception. Finding someone that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People being hurt and Murkoff is making money. Is he a YouTuber? Maybe he can teach me a thing or two. Battery for my dildo. Camera to fill my dildo in. Prepared for my night in the asylum. I've just got night vision too for those romantic night shots of me fingering myself senseless. Good. Night vision too, that's kind of concerning. Not sure why we're going to need that. Have a, no, I think we know why. It's so romantic. Yeah, we'll go with romantic rather than fucking terrifying. Oh, nice setup, man. Is that Ifinity? Nice work. Um. Oh, good. We can scale that. That's easy. If we, if we want to go home, we can just scale the fence. And there'll be no problem. Surely a fence closing as soon as you arrive somewhere is a sure shot sign you should just fucking leave. A sure shot sign you should just fucking leave. Oh, good. Well, gate's locked. Let's just go. No need to be here, really. I'm going to peek through this. Don't anyone see me on from the other side. See you through this slattered fence. Yeah. Ah. Anyone in? Anyone in? Anybody? Hello? Oh my god, it's a fapper. I knew they'd be here. Hello? It's only chained fences. I wonder why. I don't really want to know why, but I feel like I'm probably going to find out. Hello? I'm here to talk about Jesus Christ from the Church of Mormon. He's a cool Jesus. He's the kind of Jesus that wears sunglasses and goes off-roading. Okay, I'll go around the side. I heard you say to do that, so I'm going to do that. What's that? Go under this bent fence? With pleasure. Uh, this is just... This is just a sign you need to leave. Can't, can't go in there. Let's go up these ladders. Lovely night for breaking and entering. <laughs> go on, up you go. <clears throat> Whoever's got a cowbell, put it away. Now is not the time for that. And the violin. Quit it. Oh, good. Let's do... Just get in. Let's get in there. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Which one is it to get the night vision on? That one. We're all good. I hope that's me crunching on glass and not someone chewing through a bone. That would not be cool at all. Oh, what's this over here? What's that in the corridor? Ah, oh, fuck me. I've not even started the game yet and I'm already a little bit concerned about my, uh, my sensitive temperament. Let's go from this door. Hello! I've come to teach you more about Mormon Jesus. He's a little bit different from Catholic Jesus. He doesn't believe in diddling kids. This guy knows. Is that Jack Nicholson? He looks... Let's turn this off. He looks angry, but also intrigued. That guy knows what it's about. 
Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Smart TVs, man. Who would have that? I think I'm just going to... I'm just going to wait it out in here. This, this seems like a... safe place. I can't do it without fucking Jack Nicholson staring at me. <sighs> okay. Nearly finished the game. Nearly there. Hello? Um... Would anyone like to hear about the time Jesus Christ had to go on a Segway? No? Oh, huh. a battery. That'll give me about three minutes extra dildoing time. Ah. Huh. Someone's been in the jam again. What a waste. For taste. Ugh. Tastes like pennies. Oh. Uh, Mormon Jesus wears sunglasses when it's dark outside. Let's have a butcher at this, shall we? Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Don't know what that means. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 of hormone schedule. Good. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Is that a Stephen King book? No, the only Traeger on company records... One Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All orders and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytic biometrics. Love the sound effects. It's really instilling confidence in my ability right now. I might snip to the toilet. Oh, fuck no. Oh, I don't think I need to go anymore. Hello? Is it a one or a two? I don't think I, don't think I need to know. Oh, what's that? Is it salami? Ah, oh, I fucking love salami. So nice. Oh, good. Just like John McClane. Fuck. Oh, the blood coming from the ceiling. Ah, oh, it tastes like pennies. <laughs> right, just get, get on with it. Okay. Remember, there's nothing scarier than climbing through a vent with horrible cobwebs and the fear of death. Oh, fuck me. John! John Malkovich! Hello, John Conair! You have. You are, you're okay. I don't know, wish, I, wish I picked up that salami. Oh shit, there's someone running over there. John! You're a great in being, John Malkovich. You're welcome. Okay. Well, this all seems fine. This all seems fine. Okay, what's in here? Oh, fuck me! Oh, mama! Oh, mama. Oh, where's the night vision? Oh, it's worse than I thought. I've got all these boring books. Oh. There's monsters. Oh, there's cops too. Oh. That guy must have really been fucking sick of it. Hello? that bow tie on his belt? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, what's this? Oh. Hello. They killed us. Did they? They got out. Did oh. The variants. You can't fight them. Oh great. You have to hide. You're not really selling it to me. I'm not lying right to you. The main doors. Go to security control. They're very handsome. You have to get them. Out of this Great terrible. sweater model. Excuse me, I was talking to you. We were right in the middle of talking about something. What a rude dickhead. Oh, there we go, it's better. Lovely. Alright, camera away. Hello. I don't want any trouble. I just want to talk about a bit more about Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. He likes to vape. That's one of the things he does that makes him cool. Hello? I think we're okay. The fuck was that? I saw some moving over there. 
Or was it just my overactive imagination? I think we're clear. What's in here? Doors locked. Fucking privacy, man. <sighs> okay. Home Little free. <laughs> oh, fuck me. What are you? Oh, my. I thought we were friends. I thought we both hated books. <gasps> John Malkovich! Who are you? Then? You were behind all of this. I can't think of any of the movies you were in, so... you shit for that reason. I... I see. Merciful God, you Can have sent me an back. apostle. Guard I your need to make son. some sex videos. You have a calling. A calling to the Mormon church? Yeah, I'm cool with that, yeah, let's do that. Good. Not even slightly worrying. Proclaim the gospel. Gospel of the Mormons? No. What a lovely, warming welcome. Anyway, this has been a bit different. I thought I'd play a horror game since I've never really done it before. But. If you've liked this shit, like this shit. Share, subscribe. Do what you gotta do. And until next time, Captain Goujon, out. <laughs>